Hello everyone. My name is Navita Adar. I'm part of Informatica customer success team as a solution architect. This short video is being created to discuss and demonstrate ER Studio configuration in Informatica Cloud and Data Governance Catalog. ER Studio is a software to architect and design databases. ER Studio is used with multiple databases, platforms, and can be used to create, document, and manage databases. There are certain prerequisites. ER Studio Data Architect exported metadata file, which can be imported into Informatica Cloud Data Governance, as well as a Windows-based secure agent to scan and parse this DM1 file into CDGC. Metadata Command Center can extract and import following type of metadata from ER Studio DM1 file. Metadata Command Center can be configured and read either only logical model or only physical model or both models as combined. To configure ER Studio for scanning, you have to log in into the IDMC portal and then Metadata Command Center. Once you log in into the Metadata Command Center, you can click New and create ER Studio Scanner. Once you log in, you can click on the New and select from the drop down or search for the ER Studio Data Architect. Once you find, click and you will be taken to the registration page to provide the further required information. For registration, at registration page for a new resource, please provide name, description, and the file location. I am using just ER Studio for, as a name, for example. However, name ideally can be more meaningful based on the business subject area. Please provide meaningful description and the location of the DM1 file where Windows based agent can read this. This location could be a local or shared drive. Click next to go to the next page for configuration. At the configuration page, select the Windows based runtime environment from the list of the available environments. Once you have the runtime environment selected, you can select the metadata change option. This model can you can you can choose either retain or delete. This normally impact when you do the subsequent scan of the similar metadata file in the future. Now you need to configure the corresponding model, whether you want to select all models, only physical or logical model. Once you have selected that, you also have to provide the way that you like to import the user-defined properties or UDPs from ER model into the metadata description or both, as you see in this screenshot. Click Next to continue. At the association page, you can provide users and groups access to the technical assets in the data governance and catalog through the roles assigned to them. Choose a role to associate with the technical assets and then choose the stakeholders within that role to provide access to the assets. Note, you can select only those roles that have read or update permissions to the technical assets and the stakeholdership privilege for the data governance and catalog. Click next and provide a schedule if needed. For the sake of this demo, we are skipping this option for now. Now you can save and run this configuration. Once you save and click run, you can see under the monitor what type of jobs are running. If no issues are encountered, you will see jobs are running as you see in this screenshot. Successful completion will be like this screenshot where all the jobs have completed. 
execution of these jobs may take few minutes to start once you click the run so just wait patiently and observe the results once execution is completed you will get the email notification if you are away from your computer or you can wait to review that now you can review the metadata extraction details from the dm1 file as this is screenshot you can see that depending on the details available in the dm file you may see less information extracted from your model based on the information available in that dm1 file metadata command center pushes this information to the informatica catalog to view the result in the catalog we have to log in into Informatica data governance and catalog. Please go back into the IDMC main portal and then select data governance and catalogs. After metadata command center completes, it pushes all the metadata into the data governance and catalogs. Where we can see the catalog information with multiple dimensions such as hierarchical structure, relationship, status, lineage, etc. To review, once you log in into the catalog, you can search for the resource that we have created, or you can browse from the list of the resources that you have available in the catalog. Click on the resource to open and have the overview of that resource. ER Studio Architect Catalog Source Asset page shows the overview with respect to different schemas, rules, primary keys, as well as tables, if you can see on the left side, and the views, all the details are available over here on the left side. You can review the resource in different aspects, such as hierarchy, relationship, stakeholders, attributes, etc. If the source system, like ER Studio, DM file, have any reference with another source system. Let's say that we have ER model and actual SQL Server or Oracle database is also available in the catalog. Then we can link that via connection assignment in Metadata Command Center. To view relationship between sources, create a connection based on the reference source system in IDMC administrator, and then assign that connection to the corresponding catalog source connection. Connection assignment allows you to see the relationship between the ER model and the database itself. This slide shows the view to view relationship between the ER Studio data architect and the reference data set before connection assignment look, took place. You can see there's a logical data model and data set is showing the relationship to the physical data model. However, Connection is not assigned, but it is showing the actual relationship between the logical and physical data model. There's no one thing to note, only physical model allows you to view the data set, data element, and reference resources. If you have selected only logical model during the configuration step, you won't be able to view the to view these attributes. After the connection assignment, this image shows the view to view relationship between the ER Studio data architect, for example, this view EMP address asset and the Oracle view after the connection assignment. On the right side, you can see this is the actual Oracle resource and the relationship between the logical model from view to the actual resource on the database side. Now let's go to see the demo of this metadata and command center resource creation and how the data results are shown in the data governance and catalog. Once you log in to the IDMC, select on the Metadata Command Center. In Metadata Command Center, as you see in this screen, these are the already existing resources in your catalog. You can go and click, click New on the to create a new resource. As we know, we can search it on the left side or we can pick the required resource in the drop down menu. Once we select that, we click OK. And then now we are at the registration page. Once you are at the registration page, uh, we can provide the name uh, ER Studio.
and we provide some description and this is the location of the DM file. On my environment, the file is available on the local server. That's why you see the local C drive. However, it could be a network drive as well. Once you provide that, let's click next and go to the next page. On the next page, we provide further configuration. We can select the runtime environment from the drop down menu. You will have all the available and running environments uh, in the list. You can pick the Windows based runtime environment, metadata change option, retain or delete. Then model selection uh, for, uh, for this demo, I have selected all models. However, as we discussed previously, you have the option to select either logic or logical or physical model only as well. And uh, import the UDPs, you can select uh, both, either migrate the values and, and, uh, and default values as well. Once you provide the configuration, you can click next to go to the association page and provide the stakeholders. You will see only the stakeholders which have the read and update permissions as we uh, learned previously. So we are skipping the schedule and we are directly saving and then we can run this. Once you click the run, it takes a couple of minutes to start the job execution and another several minutes to complete the job depending on the size of the file. Once the job is running, you can wait and watch or you can wait in the email notification will be sent to you when the job is completed. Once the job is completed, you can look into the monitor to see the job. You can see the execution is completed successfully. All the 10 out of the 10 tasks completed and metadata must have been pushed to the catalog. If you can see the uh, under the overview, the metadata extraction details are available. What type of the metadata is extracted and pushed towards the catalog. We can monitor the job execution under the job name itself, or we can go to the monitor and see all the jobs running over there or have been completed. You can also see the under the monitor, we have the connection assignment tab where we can assign the connection to these resources. We go into the catalog and we search for the word source ER Studio. So we can click on the ER Studio and open the ER Studio. Under the ER Studio, you can see these are different information which we have pulled from the metadata file and other views are available as well for hierarchical views and uh, relationship and different between different objects and different models as well as we can see the stakeholders are also which we assigned in the previous step when they are during the configuration. Now let's select one of the table to see the relationship of that. Let's uh, pick this first one, the address. You see address description which is which came from the tool set itself actually. So this is the definition or description coming from the ER Studio DM1 file. And you can see all the contents of this table including the foreign key, primary key and the relationships are defined via these keys including the other row IDs and state province ID, U address and everything including triggers and uh, uh, all other attributes of a table. If you see hierarchy, you can see more details about this and uh, each primary key and their dependencies as well. And in the relationship, you can see uh, this table address is connected to these so many different other elements, including columns, trigger, indexes, and so on. However, if you see that uh, the data set, it is also connected to a data set, which is, uh, if you see, this is the Oracle sales data and this act, this is a data set sitting on Oracle database which is published already and it is showing the relationship to that. You can also see the other types of relationship. Let's say that triggers, primary keys, foreign keys. These can be shown 
as the relationship between the the uh, the logical model as well to the physical model if you see in this trigger is actually linked to the adventure works and there is a filter provided which you can filter out and view a different uh, point of view that how you can group them together if this concludes today's demo for the er studio configuration in the metadata command center and viewing the results in data catalog please provide your feedback using the following urls thank you very much